I literally just got down here and I found a tiny little bottle. And you know what? I recognise it already. We found, well actually we didn't find it, we were gifted one of these bottles, but a, a full size one, this is a miniature version, last year by um, a bottle digger we met down on the foreshore. And it's a, like a cocktail, I think it's like a Gordon's gin bottle, like a, in the shape of like a cocktail shaker. But this is the mini version. I think it has embossing on there on the front, I can kind of see it, but it is a bit crispy. It's a bit dirty, needs a good wash. But yeah, that's a really cool little find, I think. And, um, oh, one of those horrible rubber gloves there. And there's, um, some spatter glass down here, but mum also pointed out that there's more of it in this bank. So, that is the base of a beautiful vase. Isn't that cool? I'll definitely take that, collect up this glass because um, it's great for making things things. But I'm going to get my trowel out and see how much more is in this bank. I forgot to bring my trowel the last time I needed to dig something out and it was all frosty. Oh, it, it's all broken, but it's... Oh, there's a bit of it there, look. It's quite a bit of it in here. It's all smashed up though. Oh, it's all a bit muddy. I'll have to, I think I might put a few of these shards in my bag, but I'm gonna leave most of them because they're just tiny little fragments. There's other bits and bobs that protruding out of here. This is from where everything on the foreshore kind of erodes out with the tides naturally, so we don't really need to do much digging in the bank unless, of course, you see something. Otherwise, we just find it on the foreshore, pre-washed for us. So I'll take these few bits, that, and this whole bottle. Essentially we're just litter picking, but with antique finds. <laughs> antique rubbish. Okay, so there's a really weird little shoe down here. Oh, <laughs> I think it's had a rubber sole. It's perished. A little child's shoe. Probably from the 1940s or 50s, this part of the river. Hello. Hello! Okay, so we are back at the river. Yeah. And we're really excited to find some tiny treasures. We are. The weather's been really terrible. Like this past week, it's been like wind and rain and we've not been able to get out. But that's good because <sighs> that's what washes the treasures out. It's great to finally be here. So, let's, let's do, do it. it. button. <laughs> oh, some sort of stud. Oh no, it's a button, look. There's the loop. Yeah, funny little button. It's a little poison bottle. Ah, oh, I knew it was going to be Inecto. This was hair dye. <laughs> we got a few different ones of these from different eras. This is quite an, a late one with its screw top. Hmm, should keep it for our Inecto hair dye bottle collection. Because doesn't everyone have one of those? Oh, down here I just disturbed something. And I think I know what it is. Lost it for a second there. Oh, it's broken. But it's one of those, uh, oh my goodness, I've forgotten the name of it. The glass dome that they put on, glo on, on graves with them um, porcelain inside. Oh my goodness, what are they called? I've forgotten. We've got loads of bits of them. They've um, washed out of this bank here 
we found like a little cave, I think a little bit further up, I think there, we found a little cave, if you watch that video. But yeah, I've forgotten what they're called, I'm going to have to ask mum. What's that from? Yeah, but what is it called? Oh no, don't say you've forgotten as well. <laughs> oh, you've forgotten as well. Oh no. Oh. Something Tori Torium? Uh, some, uh, or, uh, something Torium. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we've don't totally know. forgotten. Oh, we're gonna have to get back to you on this one, guys. <laughs> I'm sure some of you will tell us in the comments. <laughs> This is a vintage sort of area of the tip and I love finding things like this. Here it's someone, some ladies, nylons, look at that. And it's crazy they haven't gone anywhere in all these years, they're still here. There's also an old fuse there, look. <laughs> I think that's what it is. But yeah, look how well preserved they are still stretchy it's crazy up here is actually where I find lots of metally things so I'm just having a little look to see see any like uh, lead toys oh look here there's a bag seal it's one of those square bag seals rectangular bag seals that went on like mail bags like post office bags and what's that oh maybe like cosmetic lid of a um, toothpaste toothpaste lipstick <laughs> I meant to say uh, lots of random like melted blobs of lead what else have we got random little bits of brass more melted blobs so nothing that I can see is of is of much interest at the minute but I'll get back to you when I do find something. There's a jaw hiding under here. Hmm, I think it's a sheep. Sheep's jaw. I think I'll just leave that. Oh, what's this down here? Is it a marble or a bead? Oh my goodness. Oh no. It's a marble I think. Oh it could be a hat pin. I can see. Whatever it is, it's chipped off there. Could have been a hat pin or a marble. Oh, what a shame it's broken. Look at the colour of it. More nylons. This is the other half of them. It must, I think it's like a nylon stocking. So I found one here and one there. Maybe they're part of the same pair. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, before we go, I think I've spotted something there. Can you see the corner of that ceramic looking thing? Is that a paint pan? Oh, that looks very much like a paint pan. Is it ceramic or plastic? I think it's ceramic. Oh, look, that's so cute. A perfect little ceramic paint pan. I think it has. The number eight? Is that eight or is it an S? In the bottom, I'm not sure. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. So there was something here to find after all. Just wasn't metal, like I was expecting. Button down here. I, mm, not sure if it's meant to be that colour or not. <laughs> or if it's been burnt. this oh it's a lid it might mi miss don't know why I said that it might fit <laughs> might fit one of our jars it's a broken stopper oh what's that <gasps> oh my goodness I love finding these <laughs> it's a lens I don't think it's meant to be green I think that it might be yellow. I'm not sure. But that's got slime on it, so it might just be 
clear glass. I don't think it is. But that's fantastic. A lens out of an old torch or flashlight. I've come up above that area and I'm going to attempt to climb <laughs> past this tree. Get past it and down there without crawling along the foreshore. But I don't know. Fingers crossed, I might see something down there of interest, so I'm actually going to go and check it out. But first, I've got to get over this tree. And um, I need two hands of that, so I'm going to have to put you away. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest little bottle. Look at the lip on it. It's got this rim around here. I love it. That is so sweet. I've not seen one like that before. Fantastic. Definitely keeping that. Looks like a yeah, shell button. Little mother of pearl button. Is this a bead and is it whole? Yes, it's a bead and yes, it's whole. Yay. That's a really pretty blue glass bead there. What's this? Oh, what is it? Oh! <laughs> it's a face. It's a little face in a strange hat. Oh, but she's sweet. Look at that. I'm going to zoom in. Look at that face. That is so sweet. I'm not sure what's going on with the hat. I'm sure it was very fashionable in its day. <laughs> oh, I like it. I'm making her face more dirty. She's so sweet. She looks like she's called Clara or something. Hello. It's a broken sauce bottle top, but it's a hose sauce and Alex made a lovely pendant out of one of these. So yeah, definitely going to keep it. It's a chain. Looks like a... Um, oh, not sure really. Plug hole chain? A plug chain? I'm a sucker for a chain, you know that. Mmm, nice piece of brass. Yum. The amount of hair I've lost on uh, branches like this. <laughs> There's actually quite a strong smell of them. Um... Oh no, I picked this up last time and it was like this and I left it and it's fooled me again. The cannabis. There is an extremely strong smell of cannabis right now. Let's get out of here swiftly. Struggle cam. I'm struggling again. The devil's lettuce. I really like that saying, that phrase. I think it's really funny. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, we're out. Let's continue along the foreshore. That's enough of the undergrowth, I think, for today. Actually, before we go, I've just spotted my first bead. And it's a little ceramic bead. And these were in long strings and I think they were painted and they were used to like decorate Christmas trees and stuff. So that's interesting. There's actually, I don't know if you can see it, a bit of a, it looks like a mat, a ro a woven, I was gonna say woven rug, a woven rug. We actually have, I don't know what the weave's called, but we have some rugs like that in our house right now. So that's interesting. Just so I happened to spot that on my way down. My way down there. Although, I want to look down here because I found something interesting down here last time as well. So there is something down here. I think this is a pen knife. I'm holding a stick because I was like, I've been scraping 
the ground because there's all this debris here that has been washed in by the tide. A bit of lead pipe. Anyway, yeah, I think we call them pen knives here, but I'm pretty sure they call them something different in the US. Um, oh, goodness, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you do call them something different, but we call them pen knives. You can see um, the little groove there where you like pull out the blade. <laughs> but it's probably too far gone. But yeah. Anyway, I think I might have seen a bead. Which is more interesting to me. It's red. You see that there? I might need something to dig it with. Oh, wait. Here we go. Is it? It is not a berry. It is indeed a bead. Beautiful little red bead. Is there any more red beads in this? area in that case or is it just a one-off no I don't think so I think I can see is it a bead oh look at that it's a bead with a pattern on it I think it's ceramic. Could be glass, I'm not sure. Maybe pressed glass. That's interesting, I like that. So down here is a glass button, I think. Glass? Yeah, it's a glass button. Great. <gasps> Wait a minute, what's that? Oh my goodness. Look at, <laughs> look at that. It's a clay pipe. But look at its face. Look at that face. <laughs> I don't know whether it's scary or cute. I have never seen anything like that. That is hilarious. Put something on there. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. <laughs> Hello. I think this is a huge doll's leg. It is. There's the sock. That's where it would have been attached to the body. But it had to be broken, didn't it? So yeah, I don't think I'll be taking it. But yeah, that must have been a huge doll. I think I found another bead here. Oh, look at that. It's like a little pony bead and it's like opalescent. You can see that it kind of looks opaly. That is so cool. I love this glass. Isn't it pretty? It's like a moonstone, like that fake moonstone you get. A whole necklace of those beads would be beautiful, wouldn't it? My goodness, guys. I just doubled back on myself. Um, to check this bit down here. I haven't been to this bit down here and as I was going back I just spot the most I think it's bead. Oh my goodness Look at that bead. No way 
No way. Oh my goodness. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get a bit close to this. It's a bead. It's a bead. Oh no, I've been cracking it. Look, it has like gold. X's on it. A clear glass over the top and then on that side the same and it's like multicolored swirly. Oh my goodness. I think it has a crack down that side and that side. I really hope it doesn't crack in half. Oh wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful bead. Wow, I don't know, I don't, I've never seen one before like this, so I don't know. It's got a big crack in it. That looks like a beautiful shed of pottery. Oh, look, it's got a bird on it. But it's too much of an awkward shape look to kind of set into jewellery. What an interesting pattern. Yeah, that's a shame. I'm going to leave it behind because it's not really going to work for us, sadly. This is where we found those little um, flower bits. I think the name might have come to me. Is it an alacmatory? No, that's some, that's a, no, that's something completely different. Ignore me. I can't see anything left at the entrance, but I spot something else out the corner of my eye. Over here. Can you see it? There. It's a wee man on a horse. It's a little soldier. And he's got his head. But unfortunately, a little horse. It's got knee legs. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little fella. Oh no, I think that might have been one as well, but it's just melted <laughs> into a weird blob. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, look, someone's been uh, scratching away here as well. There's a few bottles being dug out, but I don't think there's anything of note. This is fresh. So, yeah. There's a bead there, another ceramic bead. And a random selection of toys. There's a mangled something there, what's that? It's a leg. It's a horse's leg. No, wait, maybe a cow's leg. It looks like a cow's tail. It's funny because I found a horse and it didn't have the legs and then I find just the leg on its own. That's typical that. That's typical of mudlarking. Oh, I like that pattern. Diamond pattern. Spongeware, of course. I'm sure you all know by now, though. Oh, look at that. It is a pretty little perfume bottle. Is that a crack down there? I don't think so. How cute. It has something written on it, I think. Or maybe not. Hard to tell. What's this hiding down here? Is it a coin? I think it is. Looks like a halfpenny. But I think we'll have to wait to see if we can see a date on there. Yeah, get home, give it a clean. Although, I can see something there. Hmm. No, we'll wait. A favourite find down here. Is it whole? Yes, it is. A beautiful blue and white knuckle bone. Fantastic. I love finding anything to do with, like, children's toys game of knuckle bones just like a game of jacks for those who don't know but yeah old children's toys and remnants of them love finding them we still haven't found a dice or a die which is very annoying and, and strange that we haven't found one it's on our bucket list it's a common thing but 
It's just the fact that we have not found one since we started making videos over three years ago. Actually, I found the corner of a plastic one, <laughs> but didn't film that. Um, yeah, so we want to find a dye, not that it's valuable, you know, it's just that it's so elusive to us that we want to find one. So send dye, dice vibes. Can you see a little face? Because I can. Look at this. <laughs> it's a little cat. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> Who could resist a grin like that? Is it the Cheshire Cat? <laughs> oh my goodness. I could make something with that. Definitely. Oh, that's fantastic. I really, really like it. The blue and white cat. <laughs> Is it a bead? Yes, it is. pretty little blue and white bead. I was wondering when I was going to find a cod marble and here it is. One cod marble. I don't know if Alex has found any. Might find more. I have to wait and see. Is this something? Or is it a bit of broken glass? Oh. What is it? You know what? I think it's a broken end of a hat pin. I think that other red thing I found was a broken hat pin. Oh, it looks like a little Christmas tree. <sighs> if that was whole, but it's pretty the way it is. Oh, I love that. A little Christmas tree. You can make it into a Christmas tree anyway. You will be a Christmas tree. Oh no, it's a doll's body, all bust up. Germany, a mm, little bit too bust up I think. We will leave that little torso here. That's like a little uh, drawer handle. Oh, actually I found this other bit of brass. Oh look, it's like decorative. Like a drawer handle, maybe like off a dresser or something. I bet that will polish up rather nicely. That would make a really interesting necklace piece actually. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Oh, I came here to pick this up because it looks like it was some sort of uh, jewellery piece, but it's knackered. But I did just spot something here, further up here. It's brassy. Look at that. What's that? I was going to say it's like a fleur de lis, but it's not quite like a fleur de lis, really, is it? Um, looks like it's on the end of something. It's the finial off the end of something, I think. Off the end of some sort of pole or something, maybe? That, I imagine, will clean up really nicely as well. And look at that really pretty piece of glass. Look at the colours. Carnival glass, I think. It's beautiful. Oh, look. More sweet corn pottery. <laughs> I keep meaning to make, uh, we keep meaning to make like a sweet corn pendant or something out of this. I haven't got around to it just yet. Okay, so while my battery was charging, I found this little mother of pearl button. But something more interesting down here, it looks like something. And yes, it's a bead look. I don't know where the, oh, there's the other holes there. Through there and out there. Isn't that pretty? And Alex pointed out a tiny little bead. I can't even pick it up. A tiny little blue bead. So yeah, three cute little finds. 
There's a pretty piece of glass here. Lovely. Oh my goodness, what's this? What is it? It's <laughs> it's a giant bead. I think the very end is broken off. It's a great big um, yellow bead. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I think that very end is broken off, unless it's been a hat pin of some kind. It's a strange shape for a bead, to be honest. I think it's wonderful. Hmm. That'll be my first cod marble of the day. I think Mum said she found one as well, so... Yeah, and this outing we've at least got two cod marbles to add to our cod marble jar for this year bit of like brass down there. I think there's like half a bead. Oh wait, what's that? The other half. <laughs> yeah, look, we've got uh, two halves of a bead. They're nice little um, like capuchons now though, look. But yeah, what's this? I don't know. It looks a bit strange. Oh wait, I just spot a um, Bottle stop there. It's a bit broken up though. I'm gonna close look at this. You know, I think I've worked out what it is. It's a little house. It's crushed, but it looks like there was a little loop there on top that's broken off. And yeah, there's like a big window at the front, and this is the roof. It's all charm. They're so cute. It's a shame it's like completely squished though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is the lid of a pepper pot. <laughs> and we found pepper pots before actually. That are missing their lids. I'm wondering if this will fit, but the thing is it feels like lead. Maybe like pewter? So not really safe for food anymore. Well, it never was, but we know better now, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Oh, another pipe. Oh, this one's whole, but um, it does have a little chip. Unlike that other piece I found earlier, which was uh, a bit dead. But there's a colour stud as well, a little colour stud. So the dry cleaners would put this in the shirt um, after it had been dry cleaned. It's just a simple little collar stud, supposed to just like hold it in place, but we find these quite regularly. And pipe bowls, but when I don't find many pipe bowls, I find myself taking the ones that I do find. What's this down here? Oh, I thought you were looking at that. Oh no, that's another one. <laughs> that's not what I thought you were this looking at. This is brown. It's, is it a bead or is it... Oh, I think it's a marbly thing, and there's another. <laughs> there's another one there. What's this? Oh, I thought it was a leg. <laughs> it's, a, it's a swan's head. Hmm. Finding a lot of heads today. Cat, a person, and a swan. And another cod marble. Yes. So I found this little lid thing. Oh, it was broken at first, but it's like a really thin lid. Oh, I've not seen anything like that before anyway. Look at this. Look at that bubbly pattern. This is a piece of hematite. And it's called um, kidney. Is it called kidney? Is that the right organ? Kidney hematite? Uh, I think so. Because it look, kind of looks like guts, doesn't it? <laughs> it does a little bit look like giblets <laughs> but I really like this it's really heavy it's a metal um, I think it's like a type of iron oxide actually so it's like heavy like a chunk of iron but that's really cool I'm gonna take that I really like that it's pretty okay so I found another beady sort of thing is it a bead Oh, it's got a hole there. It's got a hole there 
and none on the other side. Hat pin. Hat pin day. That's fab. It's like faux. What do you call it? Um, <coughs> what do you call it? I couldn't think of the name of faux, what it was. <laughs> it's okay. faux turquoise. It's oh, my that's... birthstone as well. And I couldn't, couldn't for the life of me that think of it. That is absolutely beautiful. You know what? You could actually set that into a perfect size. I know. Into, I know. Like it uses a or cabochon. Like a that would make a beautiful ring. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is a shame. Whoa, look at that big cut glass vase thing. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I was looking at. It's a button and it's a really oh sorry, focusing. It's a really pretty but button. Little button. Pressed glass, but unfortunately, as you can see, the big issue is that it's broken. Oh, it's not a shame. I love these buttons. Oh well. I think I've got a bead though, look. Oh. I don't think it's a bead. I actually think it's a little button, look. It's got that double hole on the back. I swore that was a bead, but that is the teensiest, tiniest little button I've ever seen. Look at the size of that. It's like a little P. It's smaller than a P. That's so cute. I love that. Maybe that's the force you're trying to make up for that broken button that I just found. That's a large button. Mother of pearl button. Hmm. Mother of pearl's beautiful. The camera doesn't even, like, pick it up. I found a bead down here, and you know what? Is it? Oh no, it's not. I think it's just a green bead. I thought it was, um... Like, there are these, like, Chinese-inspired beads. But I don't think it is. It's just a big old green bead. It might be uranium glass, though. And what is that? Oh, it's just a blob. It may have been something. What's that stuck in there? A seed. Not a seed bead, just a seed. Another thing I like to find, little cogs for making things with. Anyway, I want to thank everyone who has liked the video, who is watching the video. Of course, even your views just help us out. Um, and everyone who subscribed. I know I mentioned last week um, that some people are unsubscribed when they subscribe. YouTube's unsubscribing people, basically. But anyway, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and left a comment down below. And an extra special thank you to our... Patrons on Patreon, of course, who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Is this another bead? Or hat pin end? It is, look. This time it's a bead. That is lovely. I love the shape. That's gorgeous. I love that. And all the imperfections in it. This looks like a, a coin. It's very thin. So it's either very worn away or it's something else. <clears throat> very hard to tell. A cod marble. Thank goodness. <laughs> Not just one. Although I think Alex said she found one, so they might have made it to three today. Yay! Oh, I'm just on my way back, and on the path here is another cod marble. So yeah, I think we found a good quota of cod marbles for this trip. We were getting a bit worried, but worry not. Here they are. Oh, that's what is in there. What's that? Is it just a regular marble? Oh yeah! I thought for a minute it was like a cod marble, but it's not. It's a swirly green plain marble. We don't find these as often as we'd like, actually. The German, the German marbles, which are older, generally, 
are usually all broken. So, yeah, that's really nice. Machine made marble rather than handmade. A cod marble down there. I just spoke to mum, I think this is our fifth cod marble. It's, we found so many this year already, it's crazy. And after I just said that, look what I found down here. Another cod marble. Six cod marbles today. So here are all of our lovely finds from this mudlark. I love it. I think they're amazing. I think we've got some great stuff here. We have. Look at Look them. how many cod marbles we got, guys. Again. At first I thought we weren't going to get many cod marbles, but no. I was wrong. <laughs> it's like, the will they ever run out? I don't think so. Because we've got, I don't, I can't remember how many are in the jar, but I counted them all together and we've got 20, which is amazing. Wow. All together. Already. Uh, so what we're going to talk about, because there's um, some really interesting things here. Well, I know um, I want to talk about my pipe, oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. there are other things to talk about as well. In our beads, for yeah. one thing. So some days we don't find, like, any beads at all, like, barely anything. Yeah. Then other days we do, like, amazingly well. Look at all of these. I know, and they're all so different and interesting. And some really beautiful ones. This one's gorgeous. This I one love that. Expand. And that's very unusual. It's got a pattern on. It looks like it's raised up, but, but it's you, smooth. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's so like it must illusion. have been covered in yeah. another layer of glass. And that one looks like agate. It's definitely glass, though, because you can see a seam around the edge yeah. of it. Yeah. And then we have our hat pin ends. It's broken. Oh, that is cool. But it looks like a tree. You can see where the pin has been there. I love that. I this one as well, you can see where the pin's been. It's probably why they got thrown out, because they broke. This one is not broken and looks like turquoise. Yeah, it's faux turquoise. It's glass. And you can see the hole where the pin was. So, three hat pin ends there. And some beautiful beads. I, th I think it's like the best, the best bead day for quite a while, yeah. actually. Fantastic. And here we have that little head I found. Isn't she pretty? She's so cute. She's got a strange hat on and her hair is sort of all hanging down the back in ringlets there. But that could be made into a doll's head. Alex found this beautiful little paint pan which is cleaned up beautifully. It has an S in the bottom. Yeah, what so If anyone for? knows what S stands for, that would be quite interesting to know. And this lovely knuckle bone, which also is cleaned up lovely and looks brand new. I like how it's like not, like there's a patch here of just like bare clay. Yeah. It's like speckly. I like they sort that. of just put the colour, like maybe they just dipped it quickly into the colour. Or maybe they like splattered it like with something like. Or maybe they know, laid like, a lot of them out at once. Oh, and sprinkled just, the yeah. colour over the top. Yeah. Just sprinkled it on. Yeah. Didn't miss. So the word we can actually remember that these were a part of is immortelle. Yes, we couldn't remember on the foreshore. They were so immortelles. Annoying. Yeah. Oh, which we've we talked about um, last year, not too yeah, long ago. A couple of times. Um, and whilst we've got oh these like um, these coins down here, we've got this uh, halfpenny. It says up there half penny, and it's a ship's half penny because there's a ship. And it's 1941. Oh. 
on there and it's quite come, time. come up quite nicely. And the second one here is, you found this. Yeah. It's very delicate. I couldn't see anything on it when I found it, but now it's sort of got a circle around the edge with dots and it looks like some sort of Islamic writing in the middle. So maybe yeah. a coin that someone's made into a charm. Yeah, we thought it maybe it looked Indian at first, but it's really difficult to say. It's very hard to say. Because so... Could be Indian, not it's sure. It's so far gone, it's a shame. It's obviously been used as a charm, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a hole in it, so... Interesting, though. It is. It's a mystery. Mysteries are interesting, aren't they? Yeah. We've got our metal-y things here, which we've actually uh, cleaned up. We've polished them up a little bit. Uh, the drawer handle's very pretty. I think that would definitely make mm. an interesting piece of jewellery, wouldn't it? Yeah, I love that. Uh, cog. We love cogs. So I'll have to make a project from these cogs. And this thing, which um, I think some sort of finial of something. It's got a screw thread on the inside there, look. Yeah, little fleur de -lis. I wonder what that was off. Off the end of something, wasn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, and your chain was actually a sink plug chain, which looks like yeah. it's like a nickel plated or something. Chrome Probably, plated. Yeah, chrome or nickel plated to stop it rusting. Uh, that buckles off a horse harness and yeah. Oh, this is this I is I love nice. that. It's that... just a big <laughs> chunk of copper. It's lovely. And it would make it a lovely statement ring. Look at that. It fits perfectly as a ring on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> We got a few bottles as well, but I think the most interesting one is this one because if you remember last year in the Window of Wonders, like there, we had the um, large yeah, full the version, version of, of this. Um, and this is obviously a miniature version, which we didn't even know existed. Yeah. And it says on here, the uh, embossing isn't great, but it says shaker cocktails. Um, and this was made by Gordon's Gin, which we've, we've already talked about the history of these before. So. Yeah, and if I can find the video, I'll put a link below. Yeah, but the um, the first one we found was actually kindly given to us by a bottle thicker we met yeah. on the foreshore. So, uh, yeah, it was great to find one of our own. And, of course, we love mini things, so miniature versions of everything we're a big fan of. We also found some lovely coloured glass, and Alex found this. Yeah, this is this is Czech uh, no, Bo is it Czech? Bohemian. Spatter. Bohemian. It's called spatter glass anyway. And it was a vase. And there's some of it down there that we're going to recycle. Um, but you've done something to it, haven't you? Yeah, I ground the ragged bit off the top and we put some of our lovely snowdrops in there from the garden. We have so many snowdrops in the garden at this time of year. There's like snowdrop mania out there. So it once was broken vase and now is a vase again. <laughs> it's a snowdrop vase. Isn't that cute? Specifically for the little snowdrops. There we go. And so finally, last but not least. By no means least. It's our little man face. I love this. Little pipe face. This is amazing. I was really shocked when I picked it up and it had a face like this on it. Because yeah. we, we do find face <laughs> pipes, but they're usually quite crudely made. This one's super detailed. And yeah, um, I that. actually think it's quite Alex thinks creepy. it's creepy. I don't think it's it's a creepy... Look at his smile. <laughs> his teeth, he's got loads of teeth. And, and the teeth like are curved. curved. <laughs> and it, he's creepy and his eyes are like wide open and his <laughs> eyebrows are raised. I wonder if it was painted originally. I don't know. Anyway... Clues on the pipe are... Yeah, there weren't very much. <clears throat> on one side it says Walt, and on the other side it says... Shops. Shops. So I'm guessing bishops, because there was a pipe maker family, several branches of the same family, yeah. called bishops that made pipes, and some of them were in London. Um, but this Walt, I guessed, probably was Walter... And I also guess it's probably a pipe made of someone who was famous yeah, in, back in the day. Absolutely. And the place on the foreshore is sort of 1900s to 1920s and 30s. Yeah. So that was also a clue. So I went online and looked up entertainers from that day called Walter. And absolutely surprisingly, I came up with Walter Ford. 
Waterfall. And it actually looks like the man on the pipe. And I did a test. I showed Alex a load of pictures of people and I said, which one looks like the pipe? Yeah. <laughs> and you picked him out as well. It was the guy with the creepy teeth. The guy with, and he's got actually quite pronounced teeth, hasn't he? Yeah, I, he, it looks like he's got false teeth. Yeah. That are like, yeah, part of his act, his teeth. Yeah. So. so I found out a bit about Walter Ford and he's one of the forgotten sort of silent movie actors um, of Britain back in the day. So he was born Thomas Seymour Wolford in London in 1898, same year as my grandmother was born, Oh, coincidentally. Anyway, and he was the son of Thomas Robert Wolford. He was a musical entertainer who went under the name of Tom Seymour. So Ford started as a child actor working with his father, and he went on to star in quite a few silent movies of the day. But he eventually went on to become a movie director. So he directed quite a lot of movies during the wartime yeah. in 1930s and 40s. Um, there's no record of his marriage to his wife, Adeline Cully, although there is a marriage certificate for a marriage between Adeline Cully and Walter's younger brother, George, in 1921. Yeah, that's weird. So that's really strange because a year later, Cully is with Walter. And they stayed together until her death in 1967. Strangely, though, I can find no trace of George Wilford, who was also an actor, after 1921. But it might be a bit tricky because they were using stage names. Yeah, they were using so stage names. So it makes names, things so, a little bit yeah, more complicated. It does, it does. certainly does. Anyway, I just thought that was quite interesting. But also interesting about Cully which is the name she went by, just Cully. She was the first female associate producer in the British film industry and went on to work as assistant director on many of Ford's films. Wow. So that's, she was a, sort of a pioneer there yeah. for women. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Walter Ford died in Los Angeles in 1984. So basically, it looks like Walter may have actually taken his brother's wife, yes. essentially. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, yeah. Cully has left her husband and... Lived, yeah. uh, I don't think she ever married Walter. I can find no marriage or divorce. Maybe she was still legally married to his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wouldn't divorce her. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what went it's on? It's a mystery. <laughs> no one knows, so, yeah. But I think it's interesting about Cully, his partner, yeah. wasn't his wife. Um, she was obviously, you know, going by what you've, you've read out to me in yeah. research, she was a very, very talented but director. before she got married, she was a chemist. An That's random. An assistant that is random. Um, chemist. I wonder why the change, the dramatic change in yeah, career. Yeah, she, she went to work as sort of like a runner on the, at the film studios and worked her way up as she was introduced to Walter to take care of him because he was very yeah. shy and she was put in charge of, you know, showing him the ropes yeah. when he first started acting. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know what went on with the brothers. Mm, yeah. We all love a bit of scandal, though, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. Well, you know. <laughs> and look at that cheeky Who grin. Knows what was, yeah, look at that grin. It's a bit cheeky looking. He looks like the kind of guy that would steal his brother's wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure Cully herself had a lot to do with it. Um, yeah. So the pipe itself, um, we can see by the, pole, the bowl, you can see all this black... Um, residue on the top and on the inside. Yeah, so um, it has been smoked. You can see it there. It looks like it's been smoked quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so maybe a fan. They'd gone to see one of his movies locally. Yeah, they, and they were selling uh, souvenirs. They bought a pipe so... or as a present, and they smoked it and smoked it until yeah, it was until it finally until it broke. Yeah. So now we have it, and we were able to I tell love the it. story. It I is. absolutely I love do it. like him. And I think it's extremely creepy. rare. I can find no memorabilia for um, Walter Ford at all, apart from a few sort of photographs and newspaper articles. And thanks to this pipe bowl, we've been able to bring him and Cully alive again yeah. and, and tell you about yeah. them. 
And uh, yeah, so that is the find of the day, I think. Uh-huh. Um, if we were going to choose a find of the day, I think mine would probably be your pipe. And mine would be my pipe Yeah, <laughs> so I think we've got, uh, yeah, this is for the Window of Wonders, I think, which is very fragrant at the minute. We've got these amazing hyacinth bulbs. And yeah. last year we bought a whole set of these antique bulb things at the yeah. auction. We got them at the auction and they were being um, auctioned as candlesticks. They which are they not are. candlesticks. And I knew straight away. So we got them for a real bargain, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did. And then we bought these bulbs and our window smells incredible. Yeah. If only you could smell We have more in the kitchen. Right now. And every time we go into the kitchen, it smells smell. amazing. So yeah, our window of wonders is looking absolutely beautiful at the yeah. minute. So our pipe is going to join the window. And, and I think we should put our snowdrops in. The snowdrops need to go in the window. Yeah. And of course our beads will go on our bead string. And I think it's going to fill up quite a bit of the bead string already. Yeah. Just for, yeah, so anyway, what a successful trip, a successful day. It was a great day, wasn't it? It was. Um, and we hope to see you again next week.